Welcome everyone to a video where we'll be taking a look at how we can make this kind of a safe house that if we approach it, it will show us a event type and it will tell us to press a specific key and if we do press it, it's going to take us to a scene. So how can we do that? Well, let's go straight into the meat of the video and the way you can do that or the way that I've achieved it is by creating a very, very simple canvas. Now all this canvas does, if we disable this, so all this canvas does is it holds in a event name and it holds in a static text that will not be changed. So this is only going to tell us to press a specific key. So that's all there is to this event type in here. So then we need to trigger this somehow. So back into my manager, which is obviously spelled very correctly up here we have a canvases window and in here we obviously have that very same canvas so if we press it it will tell us that this is the selected one now all we're going to do with that canvas let me actually show it so don't mind this load scene you can do whatever you want with this so this is all there is to it now if you take a look at this public method and if we press Control F to find any reference into this script. We're going to see that it obviously doesn't have a reference anywhere inside this script. And that is because this method is triggered from another script right here. So this is just a very, very simple script that, that holds only a scene name, a event name, and obviously it holds this game manager. We find the game manager with find object of type, which is not the best idea but it works for now. And then it has a very simple on trigger enter and on trigger exit. Now the way that gets triggered is very simple. I have a race trigger right here, as we can see, and I am using a sphere collider and do not forget to make it a trigger. So that is all there is to this trigger function. If you're wondering how I did this kind of safe house looking geometry, that is also, dare I say, way too simple. So all there is to it is a very simple material. And all the material has is this straight line that is as a PNG. And if we trigger the shaded wireframe, we're going to see that it's a very simple geometry. So that gets triggered from this on trigger enter. This triggers the enable event type. And obviously it disables it when we drive away. And what enable event type does is obviously takes a name and a scene name. It passes the scene into any scene you want to. This scene uh, variable is just a simple string. We set the canvas to true and in here is a little bit difficult. So what we do in here is we get that canvas and we get the first child from it. Now, obviously this is zero because as we know, array start from zero so this is the first element into this transform so we get that and then from that game object we get this text component and we give it a name very nice very simple and then we obviously want to look for the input so this is another public boolean which i should make it hidden from the inspector so it's easier for us to work on and we have a disable one which just disables everything. And up here we check for input. So that's how simple I made this script to work. And here is the script working. I have a scene name named car select for now. I have a event name. Actually, let's rename the event name. Let's call it something like, that's a very cool name, I know. And you have to do nothing else in here. So just hit play and you're going to have a working event trigger sort of a event trigger so if we drive up in here we're going to see that we are approaching the best race of our life and if we enter it we're going to see that it's obviously a lie it's only telling us to select our car which we can obviously select anyway that's the video I hope you found it somewhat interesting. I know it's not very interesting. And I will see you in the next video, probably showcasing this new map that I've been building all on my own. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next videos. And also thank you for supporting me.